Hey gamers, Dr. Sai here. Welcome back to part three of our series on healthy gaming habits. In this video, I'll be going over exercises you can do before, during, and after games in order to keep your body 100% while you play. In our previous video, we discussed how to minimize stress on your body. Now we'll go over things you can do to keep that stress down. Let's start with warmups. Like any traditional sport, you need blood flow to your muscles in order for them to operate at peak performance. Some players will use hand warmers, but I think it's a better idea to do light exercise instead as a warm-up. We play with our fingers and hands, so that's usually the best place to start. For our first exercise, you're going to slowly curl your fingers down into a fist and then open them all the way fully straight. You're gonna do this 15 to 20 times to get a good burn in your forearms. After your first set, I recommend doing a second set integrating the wrist movements. This is important because the muscles that control your fingers actually run all the way down to your elbow on either side. Including wrist movements allows you to get a full range of motion of these muscles. Again, you're gonna do 15 or 20 reps. By now, your hands and forearms should feel ready to play. We're gonna move on to the shoulders. I start with five to 10 gentle shoulder rolls, followed by a light squeeze and hold for a few seconds backwards. This engages the muscles responsible for keeping your shoulders in better position. It's important to wake them up and try to remember to keep them engaged whenever possible. With the pre-game warm-ups out of the way, let's talk about some exercises you can do in between games. If you're playing with a keyboard and mouse, there are two exercises which I feel are absolutely critical. The first is called a wrist flexion stretch. You're going to lengthen the muscles along the top of your forearm that are responsible for repeated clicking. You're going to start by extending your arm out in front of you with your fingers towards the ground, and you're going to pull with your opposite hand along the knuckles. You should feel the stretch along this part of your forearm, and you're going to hold this for 15 to 30 seconds before switching. The second stretch is the exact opposite of the first stretch. You're going to flip your palm so that it's facing outward, and you're going to pull from the knuckles again to give yourself a good stretch of the forearm flexors. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds. Next, we'll move on to the torso. Generally, sitting in the same position for long periods of time will cause discomfort and irritation at the joints and muscles of your back. You can alleviate this by getting in the habit of changing positions frequently. The easiest way to do this is to go through full range of motion of the spine in each major direction. You're gonna start with forward and backwards, called flexion and extension, and then full trunk rotations to either side. After playing, I recommend running through all the previous exercises again, as well as adding two additional stretches for the neck. The first is a stretch for the upper trapezius. This muscle is responsible for holding the entire weight of your shoulder girdle and oftentimes gets very tight while playing. In fact, you might feel these two large groups of muscles even tighten up when you're just stressed in the game. So in order to stretch it out, you're gonna start by putting one hand on the opposite side of your head. You're gonna pull so that your ear moves towards its respective shoulder. You're gonna hold this for about 15 to 30 seconds before switching sides. The second stretch is for a smaller muscle in the same area called the levator scapulae. This muscle attaches from the neck down to your shoulder blade. You're gonna start by turning your head so your nose is facing your armpit. Your hand is gonna go in the back of your head and you're gently going to pull downward to feel a stretch through the back and side of your neck. Again, hold for 30 seconds. And that wraps up our general exercises. Doing these regularly will help prepare you for your gaming sessions as well as help you recover faster afterwards. Remember, it's important to do these things even after your first game of the day. Longer gaming sessions require you to be more preventative in your approach, and so you can try to get ahead of discomfort and extend those sessions longer. I'll see you in the next video where we can cover what you can do to strengthen these muscles as well.